Google's Flow, released May 20th of 2025, is truly mind-bending. But to really try it out, you will need a Google AI Pro account, which is $20 a month. And if you really want to unlock all of the amazing features and create stunning videos like you see on Flow TV, that's going to cost you $250 a month. So what's the difference between the $20 a month and the $250 a month plan? And are either one of them worth it? Well, in this video, we are going to explore all of that together. I'm going to share with you all of the discoveries I made after hours unpacking all of Flow's capabilities. I'll show you what you can create with a $20 a month plan, give you some fresh ideas for your own content, and I'm leaving a special bonus treat at the end where I've created a short film using Google AI's Ultra account, the $250 subscription. So get ready to have your socks knocked off. Hey, welcome to PSS. I'm Steven and this is Get Creative. Every Wednesday, I am determined to help you up your content creation game and get you creating delicious and sweet content. So make sure that you subscribe and come hang out with me every Wednesday. All you have to do is go to Flow TV to see how truly remarkable and mind-blowing Flow really is. And I love the idea of being able to generate custom B-roll for anything that pops into our imagination. I also think as a video editor, this is incredibly powerful. But I had to put Flow to the test with something that has been irking me about a lot of these AI features for a while, and that is actually being able to integrate the host themselves or ourselves into this AI video. How well would it work? Every time I try to incorporate myself or my likeness or anything like that into any of the image generators or video generators that I've played with, I haven't seen any cool results. And I love that it's opened up so many creative possibilities for us, but on the day-to-day, -day, say for video podcasters or talking head style YouTube creators, is there a way that we can incorporate ourselves into into the AI creation to get some cool things happening. Maybe there's moments where the host says something or uses a prop and you can make the prop come alive and say, attack the host of the video. <laughs> Or maybe there's a time where the host wants to draw attention to something, maybe a cool picture of a rhinoceros and you want that picture to come alive and maybe make a remark to your host. <laughs> I know, you might be creeped out by rhinos that make strange noises, but my friend the cheetah here has a lot to say to you. <sighs> oh. These are the kind of little touches and features that I'm most excited about. Maybe that's because I'm an editor who has worked for years for clients. And I know that it's so hard to create high dynamic videos out of just talking head videos or video podcast episodes. But now anytime your host says, oh, I'm so pissed off. You can ask Flo to make steam come out of their ears or a fire erupt behind them and just grab a little frame from their video to do so. So let me show you how I did that in Flow and see if this really gets you excited to get in there and experiment with it yourself. Okay, so here right at the moment where I want the chicken to come to life and attack me, I've stopped it at the frame that I like, made a cut in my timeline and exported this frame. Now, if I hop over to Flow, I can do frames to video as the option and upload that photo or that frame. And here I'll say the rubber chicken comes to life and violently attacks and pecks at the man with, what do you call it when a chicken, a chicken squawk, with chicken squawks. If you click on the settings here, you'll notice that I have chosen the highest quality with experimental audio, because I want to see if it will capture the audio here. And let's see if Flo can be cooperative with me here. I've got high hopes, I've got high hopes. Come on. <laughs> I suppose I could have just, you know, arranged somehow for the thing to attack me. I'd like to see the way that it comes to life in AI's mind. Okay, now it did come up with a message and say flow is temporarily unavailable, but it gave me one. I have high hopes for this. Lord, I don't like it. I, I really, I really don't like it. It really freaks me out. I think it's one of the creepiest, most horrible things I've ever seen, actually. It's deranged. I don't know what happened to my face. My teeth are all messed. Why does AI always make me look so feito? I have to download this and I'm gonna say upscaled. Now when you upscale, it takes a few minutes like everything else, but I'm gonna grab this because I at least wanna have this to put into the video. <laughs> oh my God, it's horrible. I, I just, I keep watching it and it's just, it's just so horrible. Now, I, I mean, but it's also amazing. Oh, of course the upscaling failed. 
Okay, this time I was actually able to get it to finish upscaling. So I'm going to say download and there it is. So now I can grab this and add it to the timeline, which is what you will see. I'm hoping that I'll get to see the other version of what it did. So now let's see if we can find a frame of the rhinoceros and get it to come to life and say something to me. Again, I'll go to my screen flow program that I have going on here. And I'll find a place right when I want to cut into the scene. You want that picture to come alive and maybe make a remark to your host. I'm hoping that it will be seamless. I won't know that until the end there, but maybe like this, the picture comes to life. So right there is good. I could just say file, save as, and we'll say rhino insults, Stephen, And we'll save that frame and we'll pop back over to flow. And now in flow, we can say frames to video. I'm gonna again choose the highest quality experimental audio. Upload Rhino insults me. There we go, crop and save. Great, and now that it's uploaded, the rhinoceros, the rhino, comes to life. Smoke rises from his pipe and he looks at the man and says, you're embarrassing yourself. And let's see if that works. Maybe we'll get two different things this time. And maybe when we pop back, that other result will have come and there'll be something less frightening and horrible, horrible than that, the screaming that the experimental audio included. I have to say though, the AI experimental audio so far has been and say, oops, something went wrong, failed generation. Why? 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 Okay, I'm just gonna keep trying it. Then I'll pop back in with you and see if I can get it to work. Come on, Rhino, come on. I wanna see that smoke coming out of your pipe and I wanna see you insult me. I'm gonna put this on pause. I gotta go get some comfort food and come back and see if it works. Maybe me not being here will be the thing that makes it work. No way! So that's the trick. You have to leave the room for AI to do its demon magic. Okay, let's check it out. Why am I smoking? And what happened to my face? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, okay, so that didn't quite work. This is the thing that's making me insecure about AI. So based off of my features, I, I, I appear to be added to categories of men. And AI really makes me a lot fatter than I am and a lot more bald and ugly than I am and I'm, I don't know why it has to do that. I am not that category of guy right there. What? Who is that? And who's this guy? Ugh. I've gotten it to say words before. Let's try again. Same photo, similar prompt. Maybe if I word it a little bit differently. Okay, I got the same error I got the first time and I only got one of the responses, but let's see. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty cool. It's pretty damn cool. I mean, the rhinoceros actually comes to life. I'm not sure about me. It's pretty amazing how it grabbed that rhino and turned it around and opened up its, its mouth. I mean, it really is. I mean, it's kind of amazing, sort of mind-blowingly amazing that it was able to incorporate the camera movement, you know, and that's something that I'm not taking advantage of here is describing how the camera movement works. Look at the way that it actually made my hand I mean, this is a photo, but it turned my hand to the side and that is kind of how my hand looks like on the side. It's insane. So now we're gonna have to go make another video with this cheetah here and we'll see if we can get maybe the cheetah to actually talk to me. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but trust me, this is worth it. If you're looking to build a pro level video podcast studio without all the guesswork and complicated gear decisions, meet our brand new Studio Blueprint Builder. We're talking about an interactive drag and drop tool that helps you map out your exact room dimensions and customize our ready-made Canva templates to fit your space perfectly. We'll guide you through the best camera lighting and microphone choices for your unique layout, complete with curated Amazon links so you can shop confidently without the guesswork. This is the exact process we use to set up studios for top tier shows, and now you can do it too. So what do you say? You ready to build your studio? Head over to pss.media slash shop and build your dream studio. Let's get you looking and sounding pro. All right, now back to the show. So once again in ScreenFlow here, I identified a little place I could cut. I'm gonna say save frame and say cheetah. I think it's a cheetah. We can make a new project in Flow. We're gonna say frames to video. 
we're gonna do, again, I got it, I gotta try to get the cheetah to talk. We will upload the image that we just created. Cheetah, it's a ping, there we go, beautiful. I think the prompt that I did last time was pretty good. I'm gonna try this again. Inside this framed that this man is holding, the cheetah character comes to life. While the man sits in silence, the cheetah character inside the frame speaks out loud. You are embarrassing yourself. Let's hope it works. I'll pop back in after the processing is done. Oh boy, here we are. The moment of truth. Will the cheetah speak? The anticipation is, is killing me. Why am I talking? I, I, I specifically said the man sits in silence. Why do I turn into this person? And the cheetah subtitles come on, Stephen. You're embasping yourself. Doesn't get the spelling right. Where's the audio? Why do I recognize that man? That's not me, but it, I mean, weird. It didn't do it, guys. It didn't do it. Let's try something else. Instead of trying to get the cheetah to actually talk. I don't think it's going to happen, guys. He grows concerned and frightened as the cheetah comes to life and jumps onto the man's head. Okay, guys, here we are. Here we are. Let's see what happens. Is this cheetah going to attack me? Is it going to be a horror movie? Like the way that that rubber chicken attacked me. <laughs> These sequences, somehow they, 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 they do something to me. I don't know. They hurt me. They chill me in the spine. What's this one? <sighs> oh. I think we'll use this one. I like the way it comes to life better. So let's go ahead and say upscaled and let it go through its minutes of upscaling. And now what I'll have to do is to piece these together or to infuse these at those cut points. And we'll hope that we don't see too much difference in like the color. So there's probably some tips and tricks and techniques that you can do to try to blend those moments together. And of course you saw the result before I broke down the behind the scenes. I just haven't created that result yet. There are a lot of other things you can do with the AI Pro $20 a month subscription. Like you see here, I experimented with lots of fun things. My very first prompt actually was with a picture of myself and a microphone where I just said, the microphone this man is holding is on fire. I was truly blown away. I also wanted to see what you could do with the before and after kind of technique. So I have this before and after picture of Veronica, one where she's wrapped in cables and microphones and the other one where she's free of cables. It had some pretty cool results. And then I had to have Veronica kind of squeeze and scratch my head into a blueberry. All of these features were accessible through the quick version of the AI Pro, which is just the $20 a month. But that wasn't enough for me. I had to see what was up with all of these other features and I ran out of AI credits. Yeah. Google's gonna get you. So I subscribe to the $250 a month. And one of the things that you unlock with this is ingredients, and ingredients is incredible. Some of the standout footage that you'll find on Flow TV right now, some of my favorite, is of this taxi cab. And we see all of these different scenes that this creator of this channel has created with this taxi cab. This taxi cab was created with the ingredients. And how ingredients work is you can add three still images to your prompt and then give it a prompt of what you want the video to create. It's by adding these ingredients that you Get truly mind-bending videos because it will capture the true details of all of the images that you give it and it will relate that and put all of that together into a really mind-bending and incredible video. In addition to the ingredients, one of the other things that you will have more access to that you can actually play around with more than once or twice because your credits are gonna run out is the current highest level of Veo. Veo? which will also process experimental audio. And I had so much fun with this. That's part of how we got that crazy chicken sound. And you can use the experimental audio with the $20 a month, but it will burn through your credits fast. But it's by using this experimental audio that I was also able to capture and generate a story for you for my short film. So without further ado, the gift, the bonus that I promised you, here is the short film that I created with Flo. I'll pop in afterwards to give you some details about how I did it. Music isn't a career, Stan, it's a hobby. Don't waste your life chasing dreams. You're good, Stan, but you're no rock star. Some play stadiums, others play covers. 
Wait, you wanted to be a musician? Seriously? You barely talk on the phone clearly. Stan, stop daydreaming. Life's not a concert, it's bills and kids and reality. Stan, get your act together. You're replaceable, remember that. They were right. Who was I kidding? Maybe they were wrong. Maybe it's not too late to start again. I spent years believing stories others told about who I should be. But your dreams never leave. They wait until you're brave enough to chase them again. Pretty powerful stuff, right? There were some scenes in there that were just gut-wrenching and so detailed to me. Actually, when I showed this to Veronica this morning, she teared up and started crying. What I was going for here is really just this story I wanted to tell that kind of encapsulates my why behind this show, Get Creative. And that is that I believe creativity can really help us to find who we truly are. It can help us to emerge into who we were meant to be. And I think sometimes the saddest thing in life isn't just the horrible lies that people tell us about ourselves, but it's whether or not we choose to to believe them and absorb them into as part of our personality. And so what I did is I actually went through a lot of this ideation and the story that I wanted to tell with ChatGPT. And ChatGPT and I back and forth in a conversation, I was asking it, you know, some of the best prompts that I could give Flow to get the best results. And then we sort of built this story scene by scene. And then I copied and pasted that into Flow. And that's how I was able to make that short film very quickly. So what do you think? Were you impressed by any of these features? Were they too wonky? Do you think that you would be able to incorporate any of this into your own content? Or is this yet another thing now that you've seen on Get Creative that's gonna finally push you over the edge into actually creating content? I hope so. Let me know in the comments. Let me know where you're at in your content creation journey and what you think of this exciting new AI tool. Are there other AI video generators that you'd like me to try out? Let me know there too. And hey, while you're here, you may as well check out this special curated list of other Get Creative episodes where we dive into some of the best creative tools right now that are accessible to all of us. So there's no roadblocks and nothing holding you back anymore. Check out these videos and level up your content today.